This will be a demonstration of the weaving project worksheet associated with the Quick Draw Weaving Program. The project I'm going to set up here is the color double weave that I'd played with before. The weaving project worksheet is an Excel template which is stored in the directory you downloaded the Quick Draw program itself from. So when I open that, first thing you'll notice on the bottom is I've got an English template, the metric template, which is the same thing only in uh, metric units. The grid size calculator, I'll talk separately, which is associated with the grid. And then the units page has metric conversion as well as the basic dimensions of what the other pages work from. We'll go back to the English template. The first thing it gives me is the question, if I've done a sample, I can feed in that raw information so it can then determine measured shrinkage calculations. If I don't ha do a sample, I can just fill in an estimate there. The next thing it's going to need is the thread information from the pattern. Let me go back over to the pattern. If I look at that, what it needs to know is how many ends of which color. So if I go to the project setup page, you'll notice the inf that information when I ask for threads. That is here. It tells me the color. The index is out of the palette color index. The thread sizes and the thread counts. So I've got 32 threads of each color because of the pattern. You'll notice that information has been copied to the system clipboard. When I go back to Excel, when I go into the Warp Threads box, and I paste that, that information for however many threads I had has now been copied in. You notice the color numbers are there. The thing that's not on the Excel paste is the physical box is showing the color, which is a text paste. So what it does do is tell me, for example, that index 3 was the red, if I look at index 3 in the RGB description down here, 3, 25500 is red, no green, no blue. So that's the prime red. So I could still have that information available to me. So as I look down, first question is what am I going to weave it in? How many picks per inch? Um, I've got a link to the Interweave Master Yarn chart. Let me open that. If I scroll down and go to the download, which is what's sitting over here, I can now pick whatever fiber that gives me. For sake of discussion, let me use the 5-2 pearl cotton. And I'm just going to paste that over here for the moment so that it's available. And so I've got 5-2 pearl cotton as my fiber type. I'm going to copy that. And you'll notice it's estimated set at optimal at 16, 16 ends per inch, 16 shots per inch. Say for sake of discussion, I want to do 10 pieces, otherwise this is a very small piece. Give it a gap of about one inch between, loom waist, let's say 24 inches. So now I've filled in all the blue boxes that it needs to know the information, hit the return. It's now calculated my warp length is just over two yards and about a yard a weft. Now the question is how does that divide on the colors? So the warp color was yellow, was the first one. Second one is red. Weft colors are blue and green. The fiber I copied that as 52 pearl cotton, 2100. Let's scroll up so I can see that. 2100 yards per pound. So I can now copy that. If I paste that here, and I can also paste that. Paste that down here. Okay, so it's now told me for each one of those four colors, and it's if, assuming they were separate is the program's assumption, how many yards of it, I'm, how many inches, how many yards, pounds. So I need a half an ounce of each of the warp threads, and I need about a quarter ounce of each one of the weft threads. So that tells me what I need to out of stocks to buy or whatever. And you'll notice, however many threads were in that pattern, 
this is a very wide spreadsheet. You can fill in and extend it if you really need to. So you can physically fill in as much fabric as you need. And that gives you the basic information of how much material you need. Thank you.